Hello everyone, this is Rekka and this is another video about my piercings. Um, this one's going to be a bit controversial for people like professional piercers and people who go by the rules on everything. So if you read the title and think, oh my gosh, then don't leave any nasty comments because you'll just get banned from my channel. Um, right, without saving and done with. Um, about four or five months ago I got a derm wanker put in my chest, my sternum. Um, I'd researched the place and it seemed really nice and I got there and they were really like friendly and stuff. But the first like question mark was they didn't ask me for any ID. But I was like, cool. Didn't have any on me anyway because I'd forgotten it. So I was like, that's good. Um, and then I'd said that I wanted it in the hollow of my neck, so like here. Uh, but when she sat me down, she didn't mark me up or anything. And she did it here. And I was like, oh, okay, that's not where I wanted it. But I, I was like, well, that kind of looks cool anyway, so I'll just leave it. I won't make a fuss. And um, it bled so much. I've never, ever bled that much for any piercing at all. And I know and dermals really aren't meant to bleed that much. None of my others did at all. And so I was kind of a bit freaked out. And um, and then they put a plaster on it and stuff when they were done. And, I, and then I got home. And then the next day, I took the plaster off, and it had like a cut next to it where she'd like ripped my skin, and it, and it was <clears throat> sorry about that. It was like poking out quite away, and I was like, "Wow, this is not right." So I messaged them, and I was like, "Well, you've done it wrong. What am I meant to do? Because I can't leave it like this." And they said, "Just compress it, like put something on it, and tape it down for a couple of days." It did that. It did nothing at all. Nothing at all. <clears throat> so I was like, well, I'll just leave it to heal and then get it removed at some point. But when it did heal, it didn't look terrible, so I left it. But then the last couple of weeks, I haven't been able to wear necklaces and anything because it catches because where she's put it and all sorts like that. So I was like, I've got to get rid of it. But I watched a video of someone getting it removed and they said it would scar no matter how they did it and I was like, oh well, I don't want to go pay someone to give me a scar when I could just do it myself. Here's where I'm going to explain how I did it myself. Okay, let's go. I'm putting some piercing oil on it. Tapped it basically. And Macaulay's in bed freaking out because he doesn't want me to do it. This is the boyfriend of Rebecca Wills. I'm right. just going to clean this bath up. Clean, clean. That's actually really good quality. Clean, clean. There, there. Chip now on Can you see the bath? Can you see it? Yes? Hop yes. out? Hop out. Oh, oh ignore the dirty room. Right. Oh, what's in there? That is. Ooh. No. It's like elasticated, like it comes out and pings back. <laughs> well, you can't leave it like that. No, no, no. Mm. Stop, Lucy. Let me, let me think what I've got to do. So, if you're squeamish or anything, just just go now because this is a terrible experience. I'm going to tell you about. Um, right. So first, wash my hands, washed all this down with my um, almond and tea tree oil, and then just antimicrobial soap. Um, and then I the top bar, the top post of it, oh, I'll show you what it looks like first in case you have no idea what I'm on about and you're just watching it for the shits and giggles. Um, how am I going to do this without it falling? Oh, shit. Oh, pardon my language, guys. I should have mentioned that as well. It's like... It's got a little hole and then the gem is mm. well the gem's on the other side um so the shorter side i just like put my finger pulled it tight and just literally just like tipped it this way just tilted it this way and it's popped out i was like yes this is not going to take very long and then i tried to get the other side out not remembering that there's a little hole in the bar and the skin grows for it so that it doesn't move and so i was pulling it didn't move and then i was like oh god 
and so then I like held my skin really tight and pulled it up and it didn't move and then I was like oh my gosh it didn't hurt it just felt like making me feel sick because it was like I could feel it pulling my skin and it was like really disgusting and then I went into my mum's room where there's better light and um and the so the top post was out the like shorter one was out so I went to shoot my mum and she was like oh, oh, I don't want to see it and my boyfriend was freaking out as well he was kept running away and my little sister was trying to help she was being helpful and then so I thought well maybe my fingers are getting slippery because the oil I put on it so I got some toilet tissue and um I was trying to grab it with that and I was holding the skin tight and pulling it and pulling it and it wasn't it wasn't moving at all so I was just kind of like freaking out a bit so Macaulay my boyfriend googled like how to do it safely at home to check that I was doing everything right and they said to twist the bar to like twist it about fiddle with it to break the skin but you were meant to do that before the the shorter post came out so I was like oh god I don't know if I can wiggle it now so I tried I was like wiggle wiggle and it worked and after like half an hour I'm not even kidding like half an hour of doing that the skin broke in that little post <clears throat> I don't know if I'm on my voice today anyway the skin in that little bit broke and I thought, well, it's broken now, so it should be easy to get out, but it wasn't. I had to, like, pull it and pull it and pull it, and it hurt. But I thought, well, every time it's hurt so far, I've given up. So if I pull it one little bit more, it should come out. So I was like, oh, and it came out. And I was like, oh. and then it still had a little bit of skin on it. And I was like, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> but I wasn't, I was fine. And then I got some of my cotton balls I'd put in my salt solution already and held them on it to stop the bleeding. And it bled, bled quite a bit. Not like a, a massive amount, but like quite a few little spats. And then it was out. And I was like, hello. So I cleaned up the post so I could show you guys. So yeah, it's like... It's not going to focus. There we go. It's like that. So I pulled that out of my chest. And now I don't think it's going to scar. I've been putting like creams and stuff on it every day. And it's only that tiny little... Tiny little hole. You can see. I don't know if you can see. It's just there. And um, so yeah, that's how I did it. I wouldn't advise doing it myself after my experience, but if you do want to, it's not terrible. Just make just you can't do it yourself unless it's already like trying to reject. Like mine was pushed out. Like like most of the post was out with the skin. The um like the gem on most of that was out with the skin already. So. It wasn't that bad, but if yours is like, like the ones in my stomach or the one in my arm where it's just sitting flush and it's not trying to reject, then you will have to get it removed professionally because it's too deep in for it to go anywhere. But yeah, if you have any questions on nasty and bitchy, then feel free to leave them below. And I've kind of like opened myself up to abuse now for telling you guys this, but I thought if it helps one person, then it's worth doing it. <laughs> So, yeah, if you have any questions or any advice for anyone else that might read the comments, then just leave it below. And you can kick me, Facebook me, Instagram me, Twitter me, anything. They're all below. So, hope to hear from some of you guys. Bye! Mwah. Well, the video didn't stop, so I'll say goodbye again. Bye! <laughs>